What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're gonna continue right where we left off. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back. The hell? There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. What the hell? Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Oh. Hmm. All right, then. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Uh, maybe. I can. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. His don't light's not on now. Anybody tell you different? You know I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See. Sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk. I mean, you're not helping your case, bud. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. What? That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I tell you. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say. But Very much so. You're not helping your case, me. bud. I wasn't I drunk wasn't then. Drunk then. That doesn't matter, though. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. Anyways. Oh, hey. I was like, hey, look, open cell. Maybe I should look in there. It's a good thing I did. Dark Presence of the Diner. human mask. To describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. What? I told him over the hour. That the early morning light hurt huh. my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, okay. it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows. Even a report of shots fired, shots fired on Main Street. Jeez. These Mulligan and Thorn had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. <laughs> Folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Nice. All right. Set a hole in the fence to the left. Hey, look, a manuscript page. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay. This, uh, yeah, this is it right here. I was like, it's got to be that big wooden pallet thing. Okay. Examine the junker. First, I'm going to grab this manuscript page. Wait, get lover speak. fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. 
We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? That sounds like something that's about to happen. Okay. So I guess the Alice's guy does driver's oh. license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. What the hell? Okay. Oh, come on. Let me go. All right, there we go. Okay, so Barry's in town now. So no, okay, so again, oh my god. So now we gotta find Barry. Oh hey, he passed out. A Holy of shit. Light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. What the hell? And I don't remember there being a TV there. Or I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't remember the, I don't remember seeing it. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. The hell? Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh, oh what the hell? Easy. Move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. I already don't like that guy. What the hell was that about, Al? I like Barry, though. We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Barry, Barry, chill, bud. Who's Max? Down, boy. Down. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Let's see if I can look around real quick. Okay, so I can look at this. So let's get this. 
Uh, let's go to the good one. This, uh, this specimen estimated to be 14,000 years old. It was recovered from La Brea Tar Pits in 81. It was donated to the Alderwood National Park in 1998. When the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State Fossil named Bucktooth Charlie. It has since become the park's official mascot. Nice. This is pretty cool. Okay. Look over here real quick. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. <laughs> Look, Barry, I'm missing a week and someone's got Alice and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't oh, the dog. Wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality... You're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Talk to Rusty. Easy oh. there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Sure. Alright, boys. Let's do this. Seriously, Let's... Al, you can't just go and oh, meet God, a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. Yeah, I sound like a looking tick. What are you talking about? Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Sorry, Barry. But I just can't do that. Oh, I just straight up signed it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I gotta take it to him. I was like, I thought I had to take it to him, but I look like I just signed it. So I guess I'm just... Yep, there we go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Nice. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, so you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right. What if, if it's... you have any trouble finding it, oh. just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, nice. Hey, if you take a walk in the woods, Watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. True, true. That's fair, though. I mean, yeah, we got plenty of people that are already missing, and then Look, now there's traps. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay, okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh-huh. <laughs> he didn't sound happy about that. I was like, ultimatum. Alright. Let's go. Jeez. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. 
All right, boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go and end it for tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.